What's up ladies and germs, welcome back to the channel, it is your boy Blue, um, I wanted to do some speculations today, and I have Shadowlands to clear, so I figured I'd clear Shadowlands, and do a little speculating all at the same time, <clears throat> uh, anyone who's, anyone who's, um, uh, been playing Marvel Future Fight for uh, a very long time probably expected um, an update preview today uh, we didn't get an update preview today we actually got a known issues um, and I was talking about this with a friend of mine a couple days ago about um, <clears throat> what they could sneak in possibly before uh, this Miss Marvel movie and if you know anything most every update that Marvel Future Fight does it's it's either based around a movie or it's based around just some random content for them to try to fill the gap um, but we got Miss Marvel with movie coming out in what March March 8th I think and I've actually been speculating before today quite a while like a week or two already that we probably will not get an update in February uh, which would have been somewhere in the middle of February if we would have actually got the update Oh, wow, well, I cannot kill him here. Okay, because he's far. Um, so that actually is hilariously bad. Can I punch him? Uh, but, yeah, we would have gotten a... I'm going to have to try that again. We would have got a actual preview for whatever the... <clears throat> whatever the update would have carried. Uh, some type of skip, some type of preview, but um, <clears throat> we're not getting that preview at all we won't be getting that preview because it seems that um because of the way the updates worked this way around that <clears throat> they're gonna they're gonna hold us down until until miss marvel movie comes out so it kind of sucks but at the same time it's actually kind of good for anyone who's like oh but we we want updates yada 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 this and that and the third um they're not being an update actually an extended period of time that normally than the normal one and a half months that it takes them to do uh, updates um it's kind of good for everybody and kind of whatever it's good for everybody because it gives everyone the option to continue uh attacking epic quest and uh getting you know whatever epic quest they haven't completed done uh getting the resources for these epic quests wasting the resources for these epic quests while all at the same time for anyone who's already finished the epic quest kind of build build up the resources for instance like me like uh i just and i still haven't even finished um I still haven't even finished getting Doctor Doom and um, Reed. I can't even remember his name because he's he's so garbage. Uh, it gives everyone the option to um, <clears throat> to get these characters as far up the chain that they could possibly get, and then rebuild their resources or. You know, and rebuild the resources so they can prepare themselves for the next update, which is not something you get to do very often because um, the updates just seem to come so fast sometimes, which is it's nice, but um, you never actually get to enjoy some of your your new toys because you know by the time you actually get to build them up that. Um, <clears throat> that the new characters are out so then you're you're scrambling and try to get the new characters to keep up with the the whole update and yada 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 um so i think it's it's good for everybody um like i said it's good for anyone who is still working on epic quest because this gives them extra time 
to, to try to not feel like they're obligated to do things that they don't want to do like um, spend gold or buy buy crystal packs or whatever um, <clears throat> just kind of build your resources up and that's another thing uh, for anyone who is completed with the epic quests and is gonna get prepared for the next part the next update uh, I would highly suggest you start working on Miss Marvel like now get her t you know get her tier 2 get her um, just get her prepared because she's obviously going to be the next big thing. Whether she'll be good or not is is a is another question. Um, but that's that's the new goal. Um, just getting her prepared for you know whatever what's to come, and getting yourself the resources prepared like crystals for uniforms. Um, Black antimatter, you know, chaos nor stones, and what, and what else, whatever else you need, you know, to to get prepared for this character, um, you know, it, uniform boxes, because you know this this update is going to come with some uniforms. Definitely, Miss Marvel is going to get a uniform. So, you want to build your uniform boxes up. You want to build your EXP chips up, um, and just kind of prepare. Um, just. Pre just prepare for uh, the update um, possibilities of character existing characters to get uniforms as well um, there are some existing characters that have possibilities of getting uniforms in this update um, some of my speculations to that whole thing is um, really uh of course, as I said, Miss, we, we already know Miss Marvel's going to get her. She's going to get her uniform from the movie. Um, and let's see, who else was I thinking? Uh, Phil Coulson might get a uniform because he might be in the, in the movie. Uh, well, there's not no might. It's pretty, pretty much that he probably will be in the movie because of the time period of this movie and when it's coming out. So I would I would uh, get Phil Coulson prepared. Um, uh, who else can? Um, this is this is a big reach. This is a big reach for uniforms, uh, and this is just because of like comic book knowledge. Um, the Ultimates could possibly get some uniforms in this update uh which is kind of sucky for anyone who hasn't acquired the ultimates uh it took me forever to acquire the ultimates i legitimately finally got nova um yeah like a week ago so i know everyone's struggle because i did it the hard way for all three characters um possibility for them to get uniforms and the only reason why I say that is because Miss Marvel is part of a, a big you know comic book team that is with the ultimate slash blue Marvel and uh, Nova possibility uh, Quasar another possibility um, for a uniform because she's also another character and that is part of the, the ultimates um, like I said, Colson is supposed to be in the movie. Uh, we we might we might actually even get uh, extreme. This is this would be awesome because you know it's cool. Uh, we 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 might actually get. Um, I can't even speak right now. <laughs> we might actually get. Um, Wow, Nick Fury. There we go. I, I finally it got out of my mouth. I couldn't get it out there, guys. We might actually get Nick Fury, which will be dope. Um, I've been playing this game for a long time, and for some reason we haven't had Nick Fury for some reason. But Nick Fury does play a big part in this movie, so we will hope they put Nick Fury in this movie. Um, other characters, of course, uh, Miss uh, Marvel, uh, which is the character that basically Miss Marvel gets her powers from, uh, he's definitely going to be a new character. 
Um, and of course, a couple. Of, there's a couple other speculations for characters, so um, that could possibly come out and possibly get uniforms. But that's just me rambling about that. Um, so I would just say, you know, prepare yourself for this update. Period. Like that's all you can really do. Just prepare yourself. Um, get all the resources together that you got and just save them stop buying silly things like um, <clears throat> uniforms unnecessary uniforms that you know that you can probably buy later um, and stop waiting then that's how they get you to waste crystals is you know buying uniforms um, and then they get they get now they got a you know a big thing going on for for uh, CTPs you know a better chance for CTPs in comic cards it's obvious ploy this is why it's the big speculations of mine that it's obvious that uh, we're not going to get um, we're not going to get any update anytime soon because anytime Netmarble has an update coming close they try to drain you of your crystals so when the update comes out you're like oh man I wasted all my crystals on all this crap and you know I bought all these uniforms and I did this and that and now I gotta buy crystals to to get this uniform so uh, they're gonna throw anything they can since they're not gonna have any um, update this month they're gonna throw all the sales don't let the sales bait you they're gonna throw all the sales at everyone right now and try to get people to waste crist as many crystals as possible um, so I'm unless you absolutely need something like maybe um, like the only thing I would ever suggest to buy out of the when you know updates possibly about to come I would chase um, mega six star tickets definitely if you need mega six star tickets always go after mega six star tickets they're like the best thing in the game you can literally take a character from you know level one star to six star without having to waste the bios and then you can use those bios to start building that character up to prepare them for you know tier two so always uh, buy mega mega tickets if you if you can afford to buy the mega tier two the mega not mega tier two tickets let me let me rephrase that buy the mega six star tickets not that if you could buy mega tier two tickets then buy them uh i'm not buying them those things are way too expensive um, <laughs> so yeah uh, if you can buy them buy them that's that's cool for you um I'm not mad at you, um, but um, if you could buy Mega Six Star tickets, buy them. I, I would suggest you buy every Mega Six Star ticket, especially if you're if you're still building up your roster. You never want to waste bios, um, leveling up characters. So yeah, get get Mega Six Star tickets if you can, because you're definitely there's definitely going to be some new characters in this. Um, but like anything though the most important thing right now i would say because it's guaranteed is miss marvel like get bios for her um, use those hero tickets for her bios get those bios build her up um and just get prepared for her she's the she's the obvious guaranteed character for this next update um so why not prepare her for the update mm. And let's see what else what else can you possibly um, what else could you possibly do to prepare for this update since everyone has so much time to uh, prepare for this update um, let's see of course the mega six star tickets um, ISOs start you know start building them ISOs up because any new character is going to need them ISOs. Um, get your gold up. <laughs> you already seen my last video with Dr. Doom. I ain't got no gold. And I'm chasing gold myself. Lots of gold. Um, always chasing gold in this game. I'm always chasing gold. It seems like I'm never not chasing gold in this game. Um, it seems that it's, of course, the hardest resource to get in the game. Because... 
you could only get it through the missions and buying it like crystals is the stupidest thing you can possibly do because the crystal the gold ratio is ridiculous in this game it is not worth it at all don't ever ever buy gold in this game um it's never it's not worth it at all there is never a time that buying gold is worth it in this game um just the the, the best way to get gold is to um if you're gonna buy gold, you have to buy it the smart way and not through the store. Uh, buy it through daily missions. You know, refresh some daily missions, and that's that's the way you're gonna want to buy it. Uh, because the daily missions, especially if you have uh, boosted uh, boosted energy, you know, if you have boost points over a hundred, doing two dailies. At a, well, you can only do, I think, refresh the dailies three times in a day, but doing two dailies is going to get you about, f it gets you 700, it would boost it, if you have boosted points, it gives you about, I think, 720,000 gold, and if you could do that three times, you're talking about three million, uh, close to three million, not, not three million, that's a little more than three million, it's a little less than that three million um, but that's the, that's the cheapest way to buy gold um, and then of course you could um, farm farming um, um, let's see farming can't even think right now I'm so so focused on doing the Shadowlands while I'm trying to talk um, farming <laughs> special missions is our right way to get gold it's not as much um, you're actually uh, better um, I mean uh, the ratio to boost points of course because boost points in story missions is the worst it, it's the ratio is ridiculous in story missions you run out of you run out of boost points like almost immediately um, but you got to learn how to um, ma maximize your boost points especially if you have like a extra boost points like with the alliance event right now going on where you can buy the 100 boost points you know daily which is always awesome if you can buy boost points and clear tickets always buy boost points and clear tickets uh and hidden route tickets if you could buy them the that's like the best resources you can get out of the alliance store when that event's going on so always take advantage of the boost points always take advantage of the hidden tickets don't waste those those hidden tickets are very valuable because there's a lot of lot of things you can get with the hidden tickets of course um, the new the new thing of course is that uh is that ctp of destruction that, that everyone's chasing i'm myself i'm chasing it and i'm almost there i think i need um um I think I need like 40, 40 or so, 20 or 40 special missions, and then I just got a, a tier two, a bunch of characters that I haven't gotten around to tier twoing. Um, but that's no big deal. Uh, I have all the resources for that. I just don't have the the gold. So, but um, yeah. So I like I said, this is uh, obviously um. I wouldn't say it's obvious. Uh, I just kind of figured that that's this is what was going to happen because the way the movie falls, and even if they did an update from now, like they would have to have done the update today, to at least given them a month to get the update for Miss Marvel. So it's it's almost guaranteed that um this up this update the next update is legit going to just be. You know, this is going to be for the Miss Marvel movie, so um, don't look for anything special. This is your time to just build, 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 um, and get prepared so you can keep up with everybody and what they intend to do um, with these new characters. But I forgot that. Um, Let's see. That's pretty much all you can do. I mean, there's not much you can do to um, to prepare for this, because like 
I mean, there, there's a lot you can do to prepare. I mean, don't even get that wrong. But uh, there's only so much stuff that you can do to prepare for an update, um, depending on what type of player you are. So that's that's really all it all comes down to. If you're one of those guys that's like, yeah, I gotta buy everything, um, I gotta have it the second it comes out, then I, uh, I I don't see you even caring about preparing. You're probably someone who just buys everything in the game which that's that's your you know that's what you want to do that's what you do um, uh, me I'm gonna use up all the resources that I have I've been playing this game for too long to be buying stuff I, I kind of you know buy crystal the little Tony Stark packs those are always good probably the best best value in the game um, do everything you can to hold on to bios do Shadowlands like I'm doing now uh, at the last last day before Shadowlands uh, is about to close because this gives you the ability to hold on but you gotta you probably only be able to hold on to like maybe a week's worth of bios on top of when the update comes out to get that double bios prepared for for the update um, for instance since I'm doing this so late, I could hold these bios till next Wednesday, and then the next Wednesday, I'll be, and tomorrow I'll be, I'll have the Shadowlands will open up again, and I could have a bunch of bios prepared. This is how you prepare your bios. For anyone who doesn't understand how to do that, always get yourself set up for an update. You always do Shadowlands day the last day and then the next day when Shadowlands opens up again you get all those spiles you get the two you, know, you got 90 90 that's a 180 and then you got the 75 75 is 150 and then you got 60 60 and 120 you got almost 500 bottles right there for a character if there's a free-to-play character that's how you get free-to-play characters from zero stars to tier two in, in day one like that um, that's the easiest way to get a character tier two if you don't have if you have the mega st six stars and all that but of course you don't want to waste mega six star tickets on characters that uh that are not premium sometimes unless you have unless you have the six stars to waste then yeah then definitely but um you know I I'm, I'm rambling because I want to finish this uh, Shadowlands and before I cut this video out, but um, and I'm kind of taking my sweet time on a Shadowlands. Actually, I probably should have been done with it. So, and that's a strategy. That's a strategy, of course, as how you get free, the free-to-play characters maxed out like immediately. Um, it's Shadowlands. If you can complete Shadowlands, you you can you can get characters pretty easy. Um, I wish they would update Shadowlands. Honestly, um, this would be this actually this this time period with the um, with this gap where there's probably I'm saying probably where there's 99.9% .9 chance for there not to be an update. Uh, I wish they would do something simple, like um, some character rebalancing would be nice. Um, updating Shadowlands, this this would have been a perfect time to update Shadowlands to make it harder, to make it longer, uh, making more stages, um, anything. They they this this is a perfect time for them to do something simple, uh, but at the same time adding adding content and adding value to the game but uh i don't see net barble doing that i think they're going to squat they're going to squat on this little extra time they have to not have to worry about putting an update and we're just going to get a bunch of silly known issues fixed and and no character rebalancing or no character updates this is a perfect time for them to do an easy update 
with uh, just that uh, updating the character updating some crappy characters or updating some new crappy characters hint hint um you know and visit mr fantastic yeah we all know he needs to be fucking not, excuse my excuse my language he needs to be updated already um because he's absolute trash um so yeah but we, we won't we won't smash on mr fantastic too much um because it's just too easy uh net marvel made it too easy to smash on mr fantastic uh where is my doctor strange at right now um but um because that character is an absolute joke um they they really messed up with him but uh this this is another opportunity like i said not only update uh existing character you know just to update existing characters uh there's plenty of plenty of bad characters in this game that can right now would be perfect for an update for them um simple simple damage you know skill buffs and s skill changes and iframes and whatever not and then of course they could have easily updated something like shadow lands give it five more stages like they did when it used to be uh, t you know 20 stage 25 stages and now it's 30 uh, i can't even remember it was such a long time ago that they actually updated shadow lands which was pr really cool it also and with the update it actually was really cool for everyone that who was able to complete it to complete it again because it refreshed all the first time clear rewards which all the first time clear rewards would be awesome to get prepared for this next update um there's a lot that net marble could have could do right now but we already know they're not going to do it because they haven't they haven't put any type of sneak peek acknowledging that they're going to do it um this is just me wishing they would do it because um any content added to the game is uh i it's cool with me i enjoy it uh anything that can add value to my gameplay to the you know to the game add game Add, I can't even speak add uh, value to what I do in the game to so I you know I can get as much out of the game as possible when I do play uh, it's always welcomed um, and there are some things they can do but you know that's that's obviously not gonna happen so um, they even could have made a simple update um, for uniforms for existing characters just i mean if they really wanted to cash in on some easy easy money um you know making people spend crystals they could have they could have uh, made an update simply out of um existing characters that need uniforms um that probably we won't see um get a uniform anytime soon because they have no movie tie-ins anytime soon um you know s someone like um dormammu uh would be awesome for him to get a uniform um odin another awesome character who can use a uniform so badly um let's see um who's another really good character uh that can use a uniform um that's just kind of falling off uh of course characters the, the phoenix uh, would it be awesome to see her have a, a, a uniform um and, and they don't need they wouldn't even have to did uniforms um we're not even going to get any um level 60 to 70 characters you know they could have east they could have gave us some characters to to upgrade as a as somewhat of an update like like i said um no i'm doing really bad in this stage i have no dodge ignore they're ignoring me with dodge crazy um you know like characters like wolverine phoenix being able to get level 70 like that that in itself could have been some type of update giving a bunch of characters uh, the ability to get potential with uh, some slight 
you know, changes to some characters, to buff up some characters, yada, 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 um, to bring some of these characters back into the meta, like Wolverine and Phoenix and, um, um, the Ultimates, the Ultimates themselves, uh, who are super premium characters who have completely fallen off, um, Besides Anti-Man, I think Anti-Man is the only character who has still got a place in this game right now. And the only reason why he has a place in this game right now is um, simply because simply because he um, he has an ABX game. So, and unless you have Doctor Doom and you have him built up, which I'm pretty sure Doctor Doom could beat him, because my Doctor Doom last night did really well for being undergeared and all that. Um, so I, I imagine you know Doctor Doom can beat him. But um, if you don't have him and you have Anti Man, um they could have you know gave him given potential to any any characters right now would have been nice um i, I just kind of think that net marbles could they just they got kind of lazy knowing that they had extra time so them being lazy uh hopefully hopefully them being lazy makes them um makes this update amazing this update uh, the 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 the, the the Miss Marvel update better be amazing. Uh, that's just my opinion. It better it better be absolutely amazing. Like hands down, best update since the original X Men update, which was probably one of the best updates that we had gotten. Um, and that's simply because we got the X Men, so um, which everyone was praying for. Um, I'm gonna collect all this stuff and. For anyone who doesn't do Shadowlands to understand uh, the value of Shadowlands, uh, all the cards that I just got right there, um, not too bad. I got a, I got an orange ISO, which is disappointing, but whatever. Uh, I normally do this with the uh, teams of three to get maximum that bonus, that bonus uh, item, but uh. I was just trying to run through this with solos. I got 20 tickets. Uh, I got 3 million gold. That's there. This is why you do Shadowlands. 3 million gold. Um, and of course, that's 3 million gold. Uh, you could you could chase black antimatter if you really need it instead of gold. I need gold, so I'll chase gold. Um, if you need black antimatter, chase the black antimatter. Um, I go after their comic cards because uh, that's what I feel like. I I always try to upgrade comic cards. Um, go after just go after what you need the most. Uh, don't don't try to be the king of the king of Shadowlands. Yada yada. Now see, I got all these bios. I got the, the the file selectors from Shadowlands, and now I can hold these for six days. So I can hold these till next Wednesday. So always play your Shadowlands out right for updates, um, so that you can you can easily get characters, um, easily get characters. Um, and like I said, they, you know, get your tickets get your tickets prepared for these updates I don't waste mastery tickets no more on uh, regular characters because I got too much uh, you know North stones so I do the mastery tickets specifically for X-Men characters because getting the materials for the X-Men characters for mastering them is is the Macron shards and building Macron shards is it takes a long time to get 3,000 Macron shards. So, 
I would suggest to anyone save your mastery tickets for X-Men specific characters. They don't take Norse stones. They take those Macron shards, and you can eat up Macron shards on. You could eat these three thousand Macron shards on three characters, mastering them. Um, of course, I used a lot of tier two tickets for this update, so I am lacking tier two tickets right now. Um, badly so and there's there's something right there I've been holding on to that for a long time <laughs> it shows how long I've been playing yeah then of course you know start building building up your ISOs get prepared for these ISO the characters and that's pretty much it of course like I said the uniform upgrade boxes get that stuff ready um, Black antimatter, North Stones, get it all right, especially your Uru too. Get your Urus ready. Get your get your 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 Titan book records ready, because you know who's next in line. Who's oh well, Miss Marvel? Obviously, what am I talking about? She's so get them get them Universal books for Miss Marvel. She she's gonna get that tier three. She's gonna get that uniform. She's gonna get that big buff. Get them get them cosmic fragments ready. Just don't waste them on Mister Fantastic. <laughs> Unless you're, if you're gonna waste them, waste them on Sharon. That's the only character Sharon or or Luna. Those are the only two characters I'd waste them on right now. But uh, yeah, I. Uh, for anyone who watches this, I appreciate it. You listen to me ramble while I do Shadowlands uh, of my s little bit of speculations to um, to the next update. So, but uh, I appreciate it, guys. Peace out.